Okay, today we are going to be looking at a simple fix for the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. Uh, this mouse, I think, came out in 2017. I got it in 2019. Uh, so in 2023, uh, September, it's about five years old and the cursor on the screen does not move. The buttons work, uh, but the cursor does not move. So. Uh, this developed over a couple of weeks, the issue would come and go, connecting the receiver or switching to Bluetooth would not work. Um, uh, switching it off, trying the different pairing modes, the sensor's fine, the mouse is in great condition. Uh, these buttons would show up on the screen, but the little cursor just does not move when I move it, just stays in the middle of the screen. So I did some research and I found out that it is actually the thumb button here. So there's a button underneath the thumb. So the idea is when you are, you know, doing some productivity tasks, you can press this button and it will give you another set of options. Uh, so what happens over time, just because the thumb was resting, I never use this button, uh, just didn't really find a use for it. Uh, when you are resting your thumb on it, over time the button gets squished and it will just be permanently on. And that stops the cursor movement from coming around and moving the cursor on the screen. So uh, effectively when what's happening is, is when the cursor is not moving, it is picking up that this uh, button is jammed. So what we are going to do is we actually have to open up the mouse and we actually have to get to the sensor under this pad and we have to give it uh, a little bit of a tweak just to give it some space to uh, be able to click again. So if you are having the same problem what you may notice is that when you press it you may find a very dull click or no click. That means that the sensor uh, the switch underneath is jammed. So it's a pretty easy task, we just have to uh, have a few simple tools. So what we need to do is we actually need to, uh, there's two ways to do it, you can remove the uh, slider here, you will have to do it carefully, so take your time doing it as you will be putting these back on. But you can either peel them off entirely, Oh. Um, or you can just peel the sides up to where you can see the screws. So unfortunately on this one, because uh, it is so old, the glue has adhered to it. I was looking at getting another pair of feet, but uh, anyway, as these ones are getting a little bit crusty, um, so I'm going to peel it off entirely and you just set it to one side. Uh, you just do the two uh, side feet here. So take your time doing it, don't need to do it as quick as I did. Usually a scalpel or a very sharp thin instrument will do the trick. You can try using your fingernails but maybe not the best. Okay, so we have access to the screws now. So we are going to go ahead and remove uh, four screws, one, two, three, four, as well as these two. These two are Torx screws, uh, so you will need a special bit. Some people have had some success using a flat tip, uh, a very small flat tip screwdriver. So you can do that if you'd like, uh, however I do have the correct, uh, might be a bit hard to see on screen there, but I do have the correct torque bits, so I'll use the correct tool here. There we go, so that's the torx bit, so we'll put that to the side, and we'll find a, should be just a standard Phillips head, might be a bit larger. Yeah, that'll do. So I'll pull out the screwdriver. So you have two bits there. Uh, probably best because uh, there is a battery inside. Make sure the mouse is switched off, and go ahead and remove these. That's 
bring the little light around on this side. So I, I did do a bit of reading on this one and some people said just by loosening these two you can get it to, it'll relieve enough pressure that the switch will start working. Um, just removing those two and checking it, it has freed it up a little bit but you'll see in a little bit. So I'm going to go for the full open. That is done, so I'll switch bits and move to the two Torx bits here. Just take your time, I guess, with removing these Torx bits as. Also, if you do have, I think all these mouses would be out of warranty by, by now, but uh, just keep that in mind. So, I haven't done this before, so I'm just going to slowly pry up and around the frame. There we go. Oh, so you don't want to yank it straight away because, as you'll see in here, there are a few cables. So, that is the mouse itself. And there is a ribbon cable, I'll show you on this side. There is a ribbon cable uh, connecting the upper to the lower. So as you can see here, this is the suspected culprit, uh, which is these two screws here. And you can see the switch mechanism in there. And you can see the actual tiny little switch there. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the... Uh, Phillips head screwdriver and we are just going to gently do about a half turn back Oop, I will need a smaller Phillips head one size down half turn out turn out and let's test that and that is clicking fantastically again maybe just time that one up a little bit yep so that is working perfectly again so now what we can do is we can basically reverse our steps slot this side in make sure the cables and uh, everything are all in good places down there and there we go. That uh, feels uh, remarkably different now. So that should have rectified everything. So I'll put all basically all the screws back on and then uh, stick the feet back on and you should have a working mouse. I'll leave a few